Hi, I'm Brad Moon for Best Buy Canada's blog. Today I'm going to explore how to get the most out of working from home with the Microsoft Surface Pro. Like many Canadians, I'm working from home. Unlike most, I've been doing so for over a decade, so I have a few tips to share. Many of these also apply if you're a student participating in remote learning. The first thing I always remind people is to make sure their device is updated. Making certain that Windows 10 is current goes a long way toward keeping your Surface Pro and your data safe. You may want to pin Office to the taskbar for faster and easier access. Odds are you're going to be using it a lot. Remote participation is highly reliant on video conferencing apps like Zoom and Microsoft Teams. The Surface Pro is an excellent choice for this. It's easy to adjust the webcam angle because of the kickstand, and the Surface Pro 7's webcam is 1080p for crystal clear video, unlike my own laptop and many others that are only 720p. After video quality, audio quality is one of the big video chat complaints, but the Surface Pro 7 is equipped with dual far field studio mics, so you'll come through loud and clear. One thing I've learned from working from home is the importance of a calendar and schedule. The days can easily get away from you. Instead of jotting dates on post-it notes, use the Surface Pro to track your schedule on a calendar. You can easily share the schedule with others as well. You might wonder if a 2-in-1 like the Surface Pro has the power to run all the productivity software you need for work or for school. Well, wonder no more. This device is as powerful as any laptop. All Surface Pro 7s are equipped with Ice Lake 10th generation Intel Core processors. The Surface Pro that Microsoft loaned me has a quad-core Intel Core i7 with Intel Iris Plus graphics, 16 gigs of RAM, a 256 gigabyte SSD, and Wi-Fi 6 connectivity. That's more than enough power for something like Excel, and with a 12.3 inch pixel sense display at 267 PPI, spreadsheets and documents look sharp and crisp. To be more productive with any laptop, I prefer to set it up at a desk and use a wireless mouse. Now, Connecting a Bluetooth mouse is extremely easy with the Surface Pro. All you do is hit the Bluetooth pairing button on the mouse and the Surface Pro automatically detects it and prompts you to OK a connection. The next big productivity win is an external monitor. Now, Many current models offer USB-C connectivity and the Surface Pro 7 just happens to have a USB-C port. Connect the two, and the Surface Pro 7 automatically detects the monitor. Mirroring the display, which is what happens by default, is fine. It gives you a much bigger picture. But I want to leverage this into two separate displays. More screens means more things can be open and visible at once, and that means I can be more productive. Windows Settings lets you easily set up the second display as a standalone monitor. So that means the Surface Pro is now driving two displays, but treating them as a single workspace, so you can move back and forth between the two. So the next thing I'm going to do is to put the Surface Pro on a laptop stand, or you could just set it to the side. Because it's now configured as two displays, it's kind of pointless to have one sitting right in front of the other. But now that the laptop is off to the side, the keyboard's not easily accessible. And honestly, I prefer a mechanical keyboard for extended typing anyway. Now I could connect with Bluetooth, but the Surface Pro 7 also has a USB Type-A port, so I was able to plug in my USB mechanical keyboard. By the way, that USB port is also handy for thumb drives and external hard drives, which is time for my plug on making sure that you back up your data. At this stage, the Surface Pro is at the center of what I would consider to be just about a perfect remote workstation. The Surface Pro 2-in-1 has the advantage of also being able to do double duty as a tablet, so I can just pick it up and use a stylus for editing a document as though I was using a notepad. Sometimes it's nice to take a break from working at the desk, sit back in an easy chair, and read. And that's where the Surface Pro comes in handy with its tablet form factor. I'm using a third-party stylus I just happen to have lying around, but if you pick up a Microsoft Surface Pen, which is optimized for this tablet, you'll get superior results. And with the Surface Pro, I can also take a break from the daily grind to sketch or doodle, 
take a bit of a creative break. Now students uh, will also find this drawing and diagramming capability quite useful. I should mention that that optional Surface Pro type cover is backlit. That means you can work effectively in dim lighting. That's really valuable to have when you're working from home because you never know what room you're going to be in or you might be working odd hours. When you work from home it's not always 9 to 5. Backlighting is a must-have as far as I'm concerned. So one of the big joys of working from home is the ability to walk away from the desk for a change of scenery or just to find a quiet place to work. I'm heading to the backyard at the moment. Now the Surface Pro with a type cover can be used as a traditional laptop on your lap, but I prefer to use a laptop desk. It's more comfortable, more stable, and it gives you room for a mouse and gadgets like your glasses and a stylus. So to wrap things up, the Microsoft Surface Pro with an optional Surface Pro tag cover has everything you need to be an effective remote worker or learner. Add a Surface Pen stylus, a mouse, keyboard, and a monitor for an ultimate long-term workstation. But even the Surface Pro on its own is a very enabling piece of technology. Mm -hmm.